Good morning, Chelsea. Good morning, Shepard. We are tasting a dessert wine. Is that right? Mm, it's not necessarily a dessert wine. Okay. It's sweet, though. So this is... The coolest name of all the wines. I feel like you're very excited about the Petit Monsang for the a couple reasons. The little man that can sing. Okay. Little petite singing man. We wanted to do a sweet wine here mm -hmm. at Cobbles Creek. And we had received the Petit Monsang vines. They're from the same region where Tanat is grown. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a natural choice knowing how well Tanat did in this climate that Petit Monsang would be brought in and just kind of experiment with it. Mm -hmm. So it is a sweet wine. The first year we harvested this, I believe, was 2010. And I remember being in the lab and checking numbers on this. and the sugars were so much higher than anything that we would typically harvest, but the pH was essentially at a level that was too low for us to ferment. So it would have killed any native yeast. So we had to wait wow. until that sugar accumulated and get that pH up to a, a level where it was fermentable. Yeah. yeah, let me just pause that. Maybe we can put a chart up on the screen and explain when we're coming closer to harvest, we've got sugars on the increase and acid dropping, right? Yes. So this variety was keeping our acids super high and having higher sugars than any of the other varieties that we're picking. So that's just amazing. That's holding its acid and producing more sugar than anything else. And that's why this is so good because it does have a lot of sweetness to it, but it doesn't have that really cloying, Wear like you out. heavy, yeah. sappy I sweetness. Mean, yeah, I drank that just on the way here <laughs> and I feel great. Like it's just like bright and feels fresh. I don't feel like it's like overwhelmed my palate at all. You're glowing. Mm -hmm. I think it is the Petit Mon thing. Mm -hmm. So with this, it does have that great balance. It has a lot of sugar in it, but because there's so much acid in it, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like there's a ton of sugar. Yeah. It's got that great balance there. That's great with food, great pairing wine, a cheese platter with like the sal saltier, harder cheeses, um, some nuts, some dried fruits, like specifically dried apricot. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to pull a lot of the really cool. Some honeycomb from Jordy, our viticulturist. Another great option with this is like spicy Thai dishes mm -hmm. um, because it doesn't have that really high alcohol to carry that heat. So you're saying like curries? Curries would certainly work. Okay, because yeah, it's sweet, but that acid still cuts through the curry creams and stuff. It's yeah, go explore yeah. pairing on this. I feel like I mean she just gave some really good ideas, but I feel like we could outdo that. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> it smells like nectar. Of the gods. It kind of does. <laughs> it has it has that distinct like just mm. oozing with honey, sunshine. Um, it's got a lot of tropical notes to it, like a dried mango on the palate. It's so expressive, mm -hmm. so bright. And like I mentioned, it doesn't have, it doesn't have that cloying personality. The acids, I think for me, hit more than the sugar. So the sugar certainly hits first in the palate, but the acids are what carry it much, much longer. So. Your finish is really long, really persistent, but it's not a sweet finish. It's more of that like bright, fresh pineapple yeah. juice. But it ha also has kind of this like harder edged, like flinty minerality. So it's, it is just a, it's a fascinating wine. Yeah. And actually worth mentioning, it is highly prized because it's like the only, I believe it's the only wine that was ever used to baptize a French king. So Henry the fourth, they baptized him in alcohol? They baptized him using Petit Monsang. But like Catholic baptizing, like where they just like sprinkle it on him, not like full dunkage, like. <laughs> Felicidades. I wasn't there. But I mean, if you think about a wine that's delicious enough and, you know, highly prized enough to baptize mm -hmm. a king. Yeah. Well, and that's why we're sending it to our, our wine club members. Right, because, because you guys are royalty. Hey guys, I'm Chelsea. I'm The Shepherd. And we'd like to thank you for watching these videos with us. We will be doing one every week, so hit the subscribe button right there if you want to follow along. Until next time, Nathan. <laughs>